In this tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can generate from a simple 2D plan an elevation or elevations. And this we'll do using the elevation wizard which we see within the Arch UK section tools and there it is the elevation wizard. So we've generated our plans, we've used the the plan drawing tools to generate our walls, we've introduced the hatching automatically, we've introduced the, the window and uh, windows and doors automatically. Uh, we've used the component manager to drop in symbols for uh, cars, sinks and uh, anything else we like. So let's take a look at how we're going to use the elevation wizard. We we'll get ourselves a decent view, so let's have a, a look. Look there. We can switch off aspects of our drawing that we're not particularly interested in at the moment dimensions for instance give ourselves a little bit more more clarity within the drawing and we'll choose the section tools and we'll choose the elevation wizard so symbol path this is where the symbols for the elevational representations of doors and windows are kept now they don't need to be just doors and windows we don't need to restrict ourselves to that any blocks that we put on plan we can associate a, a symbol with for our elevations too, so it could be whole porch assemblies um, or, or anything such as that. We can automatically layer our drawings. You see, if we take the tick from that box, it disables the uh, the layer selection boxes there. But we can break down our drawing. Although we're drawing aut it automatically, we can break it down to make it more manageable for future work. Uh, we can dictate the colour of the pens that we're going to be drawing with. So this will allow us to, to differentiate pen thicknesses and give us uh, a nice feeling to our drawings rather than having the bland elevations that could uh, otherwise uh, appear. We can hatch, uh, indicate the hatch styles. So the hatch styles we set from the, the hatch uh, settings uh, area of the, the hatch tools within the main caddy application and from here we can choose anything from straight lines that we have for brickwork here set at 75 millimeters uh, through to full brick representations tile hanging or whatever we choose we can also choose the same or similar uh, in a similar way for the roof so we'll okay to that and it says indicate the origin reference point on the plan so we'll choose our reference point which will be the bottom left hand corner of the uh, the plan there indicate the origin for the elevation well if we just move across our drawing and place the uh, the location point there. We're then prompted to choose the elevation we wish to draw. Now north would be the elevation looking down from above, so that would be in this case the rear elevation, with east being the elevation from the right hand side. We're going to choose the south. We can change our mind, so select a different ele elevation to draw. We can draw the walls, which we'll do in just a moment. Now once we've drawn the walls we can introduce doors and windows, openings, down pipes. We can select a plan so maybe we're drawing uh, a further story within the building and we can even change the reference height to move upwards or downwards within our building as we, we put in the, the doors and windows and other, and other features. So we'll choose walls and when we use the elevation wizard we actually work from the rear to the front of our scene. So if we have a vantage point looking at the front of our building here then this will be the furthest from the eye so we'll start here then we will draw the second part of our elevation and the third component which will be the projecting gable so 2325 so single story for the garage ground level to unfinished floor there roof type now although we have a pitched roof so it's pitched front to back we're looking at the side of the roof as opposed to uh, from heights which would incidentally introduce the the second height there uh, we're looking at the side of our roof. Now, the gable width, if we use pick on there, we can actually indicate on our drawing, and you see that will actually pick up the width of the building to determine the height. When associated with the roof pitch here, and we have the fascia uh, height, we have the overhangs that we wish to, to use as well. The wall thickness, well, we've got a single uh, well, uh, solid wall here, which is uh, 2 on 5 millimeters thick so we'll choose that and we can auto detect the door blocks and window blocks and these are just little pick options same for the down pipes. OK to that indicate the first corner of the wall so if we just choose side to side we can see that we've drawn 
the elevation of our garage. We want more walls because we're going to do this section now. So we say yes. We'll change that to be two story and we'll change the uh, roof type, we're still drawing the side of the roof so we'll retain that but we will change the width of the building so it will give us a, a, a taller roof so it's still at 35 degrees and the one thing we're going to change here is we're going to move on to the cavity brickwork OK to that and that will draw in the next section of our elevation. More walls? Yes. So this time we do need to change that. We'll go to a double pitch because it, this roof is pitched side to side. And you notice the, the gable width is greyed out because we'll be picking that directly from the drawing. OK to that. And that will introduce the, the gable. More walls? Well we don't need to draw any more walls at the moment. But what would be nice is to be able to select the plan because we have a first floor so if we just take a, a little look here, we can select the plan. It says indicate the origin point. So this is the corresponding point on the uh, the first floor drawing, and we're moving up the building 2,600 millimeters. So I can say OK to that, and we'll now introduce the windows and doors. So there we've introduced the windows and doors, and we'll do the same here and the same here no more. When we finish we simply close the wizard. So that gives us our elevation. Now we have tools also for adding soldier courses and you'll notice that these will sit on top of the brickwork too using the opaques that we have within the advanced tools within Caddy's um, main application. We can introduce brick arches too where we can introduce a, uh, the, the, the rise of the arch at the centre and the pen that we wish to choose and simply select along our elevation. Of course if you introduce blocks or choose to associate blocks which already have these features whether it's stone heads uh, or anything uh, uh, else uh, as window symbols then these will automatically come into your drawing and be placed on there by the wizard.